champions of the WSL and obviously taking part in the World Cup tournament. How has this year been for you? I know obviously you're going to say amazing, but how has it been for you personally? Yeah, it's been a, a great season. Season, obviously, with club, but here at Arsenal, we we achieved what we wanted to achieve from the season and retaining the WSL. You know, after not winning it, winning it for seven years. So yeah, it was a great season in that sense. Um, a lot of ups and downs throughout the season with injuries and um, players missing out on chunks of the season. But yeah, I think we all came together and we got what we wanted from the season. And then obviously the summer, a little different to our normal summer. We, yeah we qualified as a national team for our first World Cup so yeah that was a completely unique and different experience um, and to, yeah that was probably one big thing for me about the World Cup is it was a disappointing on the pitch for us as a national team and um, we maybe didn't achieve what we wanted but it was definitely an incredible experience to be involved in a World Cup and to have all our support and families over in France. It must have been a massive big deal for you seeing, especially in the games and the warm up towards the World Cup, World Cup, that so many fans were in attendance to watch your national team and then they followed you all the way to France. I mean, how did that feel seeing all the fans follow you? Yeah, that was yeah very different to anything we've experienced as a national team before. The game before we went to World Cup at Hampden Park against Jamaica got 18,000 yeah. people, which is insane. You know, we, I think we try, we try and aim for 4,000 at some of our games, so to get that many people purely from I think we market it we market it a bit better um, and it shows that there is people there are people sorry who want to come and watch us play and yeah. a lot of people it was a 3-2 game there you know there was goals so a lot of people enjoyed it and said they would come back so it just kind of opened their eyes I think everyone to, to see that yes we can move the game even further forward because there are a lot more people who, who do want to come out and watch the game and engage. Speaking on that I know that a lot of people especially in the media have been Speaking on what will happen after the World Cup in terms of attendances, now Arsenal women have the luxury, can I say, of playing at the Emirates? Yeah. Uh, for the Emirates Cup, now, are the players looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah. definitely. You know, it's um, a lovely stadium, you know, brand, fairly new stadium in terms of stadiums. And yeah, I personally have played there before, so I know what it's like. So it's, yeah, nice to be able to do that again, especially having coming back to the club. We've not done that. So yeah, it's going to be a great occasion and a game to start our, to start our whole season off again. And hopefully we get a good start uh, and a good result and get minutes in our legs for everyone um, and use it in the best way possible. I mean it's great for, there's obviously new signings for the Arsenal women's team to see and it'll be great for the fans to come to the Emirates because I, I know a lot of fans say oh we don't get to see the women play, it'll be great if they could play at the Emirates and all these other excuses so now it's their time to actually come and see you at, at the stadium that they normally go and watch the men's game at. Yeah I think it's a great opportunity to, to yeah for people who've not seen us play and especially live to come and watch and maybe get a taste for it and then hopefully they will you know want to come and watch us again and come and watch us at Meadow Park or in Bora Mood. Um, so yeah it's yeah as much as it's a football thing it's an, you know, an off the pitch thing as well to, to try and get that growth in the game in terms of you know bums on seats and getting getting people to our games. Meadow Park is the home though and there's been new renovations it's looking absolutely amazing I've seen the new changing rooms there's a whole new stand and about up to 4,000 capacity now? Yeah I think yeah everything's just been increased a little bit and it's just a little bit more professional in terms of um, you know, like you said the changing rooms have been renovated which that hasn't been done in the whole time yeah. I've been at the club so yeah I've not been seen it yet but it all looks great and I'm looking forward to having that and just you know we you know Meadow Park's our home and we love playing there the pitch is you know so good now and like you said the stands are all sort of evenly matched and we can get up to a capacity of 4,000 which you know will hopefully if we perform on the pitch and provide good performances that we can you know aim for that in for our all our games. It's looking like a champions changing room so hopefully we can have another amazing season but yeah, looking yeah looking forward to this weekend though Sunday is the Emirates Cup what can fans expect to see from the Arsenal women this weekend? Yeah I think we're all at different stages as players we've all some of us have been back in a week now and um, some are coming back in just today like a week before the, the game on Sunday and yeah we've still got a few more to come in obviously because of the World Cup and the um, sort of staggering of players and how far they got. So yeah, we, we've got a few new signings. So yeah, it'll be that'll exciting. Be very, yeah, it's exciting. Um, obviously, we've not played together too much yet, so I think it will be good to, to just see where at, see where we're at, and um, without too much work together. And um, so yeah, I think it'll be a good base to sort of then push on afterwards. That's amazing. I can't wait to see you ladies play. It'll be a great opening act for the fans to see the men play obviously afterwards. So this is a new format. Normally the Emirates yeah. Cup is over two days, and now the Arsenal women get to open. Yeah, you know, obviously to, to go on before the men's game, hopefully the, the fans come out and support us and then obviously support the men's team and hopefully we, we, we and the men can put on a good show. So basically, everyone needs to get there early. Yeah, get there get early. Get there midday because it's 12.30 kickoff. Yeah, early kickoff. Yeah. Yeah.
yeah. Arsenal women first mm -hmm. head in the show, headline in the show, and then the men will play afterwards. So hopefully we'll see you guys down at the Emirates Stadium. Get there for midday. And you can see Arsenal women's captain, Kim Little, uh, taking charge of the team, basically, and doing what we do best. <laughs> it was great chatting to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Kim.